Today I'm going to show you step by step how easy it is to create YouTube videos in HDR using just a Sony camera and Final Cut Pro. Welcome if you're new here, my name's Chadwick and this is Creative Video Tips where I help you create videos that make a difference and stand out. If that's something you're into, click subscribe right now so you don't miss my tip next week. Now, just also before we get into it, this video you're watching right now is in HDR. It's uploaded in HDR. So the way you want to be able to watch it in HDR is have an HDR compatible device. My suggestion is, you know what, probably an iPhone would be great. And that's where most people watch YouTube anyways. The way to set up HDR shooting easily on a Sony a7 III, which is what you're watching right now, is going to be to go to your picture profiles, go down to picture profile 10, and then make one small adjustment. You're going to change it to HLG3 and uh, then leave the rest alone. So you're going to keep using the Rec 2020 color space, which gives you all the extra color, and the HLG3 gives you just a little bit of extra dynamic range. So that's the space you can capture from the shadows to the highlights it works better the other thing you want to do is how to capture it right so besides your picture profile you want to know like how am i exposing it is what i mean by that so you're going to set zebras for this and i want you to set your zebra so that your lower limit is set to plus 95 and uh, keep everything that you care about under that plus 95. Next, I'm going to show you how to edit the video using Final Cut Pro 10.5 over here, which is the current version. Here we go. So I have a new library that I created. Go over to your inspector and modify the library to be Wide Gamut HDR. So you click Change, and then you're going to need to create a project that's also HDR within that. So we'll call this our HDR tutorial, and then under now this if it has use custom settings here that's what we need to click if that's not visible this is sort of called the progressive disclosure but now that we have more options and you want to choose under rendering we're going to choose wide gamut HDR HLG version down here choose that click OK we have a timeline ready to edit we've got clips that we can just drop right into the timeline and these are all set to edit however you want, color correct however you want, your scopes, all that stuff you can see up here is, is now Rec 2020 HLG and uh, you know, work on that to your heart's content. So that's, that's the editing section and how you do that in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to show you how to export your HDR videos so that YouTube recognizes it as HDR and HLG so it flags it correctly on the right devices. There's two ways to do it. You can export a ProRes uh, version, which is simple. We just go to your share menu. You can say master file, and then under settings, choose ProRes 422, and then choose, it automatically recognizes that it's wide gamut HDR Rec 2020 HLG. That's one option. The downside to doing this is gonna be the best quality version, but it also makes huge file sizes. So if you don't have the best internet connection, I don't have the best internet connection. It's going to take a long time to upload to YouTube. The other way that you can export HDR video for YouTube would be to use Compressor out of Final Cut Pro. So if you have Compressor, this is a great option. It gives you an HEVC file, which is H265, which has the benefit of the file size is going to be much, much smaller, so it'll upload much faster. The downside, there's always a plus and minus, right? The downside is it takes a long time for your computer to make. <laughs> So it's gonna take much, much longer than making the ProRes file. So you just have to value like, can I let the computer run overnight or for a long time, or do I have a lot of time to upload? For me, it's I don't have great internet, so I'm gonna let the computer run for a while and have a fast upload. To use the compressor preset, and the one you wanna use is you're gonna to go to File, uh, Send to Compressor, New Batch, and then you're gonna choose under Apple Devices, you're going to choose Apple Devices 4K HEVC 10 bit. Drag that on your clip and you can pretty much leave it like it is. Like it's pretty much set good to go. It's going to recognize everything that we've set up with your library being set to wide gamut, your project being set to Rec 2020 HLG. It carries all that stuff through so it doesn't take a whole lot of thought. You click start batch, you let that thing start cooking, which is going to take a while and then you can upload it to YouTube and it, you don't have to do any other settings in YouTube for it to recognize, hey, this is HDR. It's just good to go.
See, HDR doesn't have to be that tough now, does it? You have all the tools you need. If you got something out of this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next video.